Uh, my name is Michael Blown. I'm the president and founder of Old Friends Thoroughbred Retirement in Georgetown, Kentucky. Uh, we have uh, more than 100 uh, thoroughbred racehorses that we take care of. And before I did this, uh, I used to teach at Boston University and Emerson College. And after that, I went and I was the movie critic at the Boston Globe for about 20 years. And now I'm here taking care of old horses in Kentucky. So I don't even mean it. I'm a tater. He's aptly named, too, because he talks a lot. And the reason that we started Old Friends is because uh, when their racing days were over, these horses need a place to call home. And, and I thought of two things. Because I did cover the movies and I was around movie stars, I realized people love stars. And a lot of the horses that we aimed at getting here were the stars. And the stars would attract the visitors. Uh, the visitors would spread the word. It would get bigger. We'd have more room for more horses. So that was in, in 2003. We started with one wonderful old mare named Narrow Escape. And it's a terrific name for a horse who's started all friends. And now we, as I say, we take care of over a, a hundred and we have... Uh, Here he comes. Here's your horse. Come on, big man. Come on, big man. Come on. Where are you going? Get her. Come on. He's secretary. He was secretary's last full to be born. His best living male horse by far. Dad's derby record. Oh, okay. Now, Del Mar, back when it was dirt, you did used to play just a tad faster than Churchill, but still, mm -hmm. you know, you'd have to be a super racehorse to do that on anything. You know, of course, Secretariat was very much a grass horse when he wanted to be. They just mostly raced him on the dirt because mm -hmm. that's where the big money, you know, was. But uh, they started this guy on the grass, and he was so good that he was in the Arlington Million, and in fact, it was the one that was won by a wad beating Peary's Clown and beating Dinner. Dinner came in ahead of Peary in that race. So we have three of those horses. But Tinner really found himself when they took him last and put him on the third. Tyson is one of Seattle's Slew's best. William Stanhope held the record for a mile at Belmont. He held that record for 10 years. I knew that nobody was specializing in stallion, uh, so I, we did that. And the other thing that we did, uh, about maybe about a month and a half after we started Old Friends, the news came that Ferdinand, who won the Derby in 1986 for Charlie Whittingham, and was 1987 Horse of the Year, died in a slaughterhouse over in Japan. So we also started to make arrangements with the Japanese breeders to retire uh, these great stallions and bring them back home once their careers were over, and that's who worked very, very well. They're happy with it, we're happy with it, and we've been able to uh, bring five stallions back from Japan as well. So uh, it's worked out well for the horses in particular, and uh, and I think it's great for the fans to be able to come and visit. 1993, Ferdinand's greatest son. He lost oh, he his went. eye in an accident at Playburn Farm when he was about 12 years old. So he has done without that eye most of his life because halfway through his stallion career, Gaijin was sold to a Japanese breeder and he was a very popular dad in Japan. But then when he was 22 and it was time for him to retire, then he got sold to a very bad guy who had some very bad plans for him. We needed to expand and, and the idea for old friends is that hopefully over the years, we'll have a place near Del Mar and a place near Gulfstream Park that will showcase the horses that were famous there. Um, and so, uh, we want, as an experiment, we tried it up at Saratoga. And so we started out with a couple of Travers winners, uh, Will's Way and Thunder Rumble, uh, both won the Travers, and Crusader Sword won the Hopeful, and was a really, really nice horse, and he's retired up there. And we also had Zippy Chippy, who's the world's losingest racehorse. He had poor horse, had 100 starts and no victories. But he's very famous, scout very well. Uh, that is financed in part by Bobby Frankel. When Bobby Frankel died, we were one of the beneficiaries of his trust. And so Bobby's uh, spirit and uh, affection for these animals lives on at Saratoga at the Cabin Creek Farm. One of the premises of this place is that these horses have to generate income once they're 
breeding and racing careers are over. If you've always begging for money, eventually it's, you're not going to get anything. Um, and so we try to figure out creative ways that these animals can still gener gener generate income. So a gulch, for example, we sell shares in all our horses. So for $100, you can own a share in a Eclipse Award winner, a Breeders' Cup winner. We send you a certificate and a photograph and a letter of appreciation. And you can come to all of our parties for discounts and, and all of that. So it helps create these groups. Uh, we sell t-shirts and hats and, and do whatever we can. And then uh, some really nice owners, Mike Rapoli, who of course owns Uncle Mo and Stay Thirsty, is a contributor, especially to the farm up in New York. And uh, uh, Jerry Nan Moss, who owns Inyata and a lot of other Giacomo, uh, they donated six horses to us. We have, we have a lot of their horses here. And Jerry is very generous about supporting them financially. And the fans, I, I should say, I guess, our biggest supporters are the fans. We have 30,000, we have 31,000 plus fans on Facebook. And whenever we need anything, it goes out on Facebook and usually, you know, doesn't take long before all those people get together and figure out how to help us. So it's, it's the fans really are the foundation. Of this, this is a stallion. His name is Patton. He's very, very nice. If you're just itching to pat a stallion, what you want to do is you can do it here. First, first put something in his mouth and then he's very calm. He will let you do that. Not all of them would, but he will. You're very polite. But this guy, he's very nice. Uh, he, was a, he was a top race horse in his time. Just a so-so dad, but a top race horse. Yeah. And he's retired now. He's gotten a little old. He's for two. He's been in recline. He's been on the climb. Well, I have two, actually. Uh, Sunshine Forever. Uh, I watched Sunshine Forever win. Uh, he won the Eclipse Award in 1988 as turf champion. He did some amazing things. As a three-year-old running against older horses, he won three grade one stakes races in six weeks. He won the Man of War, he won the Budweiser International, he won the Turf Classic. Uh, and he's the first horse we brought home from Japan. And he's been my buddy for a long time because when he came here, it was a, it's a tough adjustment sometimes for these older horses. And he had a tough adjustment, he got coffee, he, was, he had some sickness, and he didn't look very good. And now he looks like a million dollars. And even though I like him more than he likes me. <laughs> uh, Marketry is my other favorite horse. Uh, Marketry's a marvelous horse, and he's very friendly. And of course, he sired two uh, Breeders' Cup winners, uh, uh, Squirtle Sport and Arcax. And he was also a great horse in his own right. He, um, he was one of Bobby Franklin's favorite horses as well, so we were really privileged to have him here. Clever Alamont's probably the nicest and the sweetest. He's a really, really nice. Um, he won his first six starts, and uh, Cal Partee and Lynn Whiting, the people who had Little E.T. winning the Derby, sold him to Wayne Lucas and Eugene Klein for a lot of money. Uh, Clever Alamont never won another race, unfortunately. And uh, three years ago at Christmas time, I got a call from a woman out in Kansas. She bought him for $200 in the slaughter auction. So when he got here, he was in terrible shape. Uh, he only had one eye that worked, and he was deaf. But he gained 312 pounds, and he's doing great, and he's a softie. He's, he can lead him around with a piece of dental floss, and he's just so, so nice. Um, the horse we brought home with uh, Sunshine Forever from Japan, Creator, is the one who's the most, he's got, he's got a lot of charisma, and he's got a lot of spirit. Uh, he's not cuddly. Uh, my wife loves him, and he loves my wife. 
he, uh, he puts up with me. 